Did Kittle just kill Adobe Illustrator? It's not looking good. Not looking good. T-shirt help desk. All right, guys, this is Adobe Illustrator. Now, guys, when I really started taking designing T-shirts seriously, this is the program that I used. OK, Illustrator was the first version of Illustrator many, many, many moons ago. All right. So the program is very dear. And I think that, well, I used to think that it is for T-shirt design, like the best. However, things change. That change is Kittle. So let me show you the main thing about Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a vector based program. OK, so what does that mean? What it means is that if you go into this, it is filled with these anchor points and these arms or levers right now. OK, but and this is the basis, right? This is where all the magic happens. Everything that you see, let's zoom in close right here, is a, a series of anchor points, right? That you can move and shape. They can, and they give you all of these curves right here. Or you can go in and get rid of the curve and have an angle, all right? Now, guess what? This is Kittle. And guess what you can do over here? Let's go in. This is the same piggy. All you have to do is just double click on it. And, and oh, what is that? Let's go in a little bit closer. You get the same exact anchor points. And you can play with them, manipulate them. You can take these arms and levers. And you can do all type of stuff. You can hold down your option key. Boom. You can do the same exact thing. All right. So this is Kittle. And you can go in here. We're going to grab our little piggy wiggy and we're going to go and we're going to click right here. And you can go in. Of course, you can change the color. All right. But let me show you something. Now, you, you can go right here. Right. And you can see this is a the rectangle tool. And you have a whole bunch of tools here. Let's go right here. You can see uh, rectangle, ellipse, polygon. You can go crazy. Here's an ellipse, which is pretty much a circle. But we're going to do a rectangle. So we're going to take a rectangle right here. And you can go right here. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit closer. And once you can go right here, just grab the little dot and pull it in. Play, and you could change the corners. You can go in and change the corners. Now let's go over to Illustrator. Illustrator, you pretty much can do the same thing. You go right here to rectangle. Boom. Same thing. But look at all of these pre-made templates that you get. All right. You can also do, as I showed you, you can also do AI, right? And come up with all type of images right in here. You can't do that in Illustrator. Okay. You can't just bring something in. Let me, let me show you something else. We want to turn this one right here. We want to turn it back black. And I'm going to show you a few more things. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's say you wanted to do something with this piggy wiggy, right? And you wanted to make a graphic or like a logo or something or a T-shirt out of it. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. You can go right over here to text and you have all this pre-made stuff right here. And you can just go to. Let's see, which one are we going to use? This one right here. Just click on that and look at that. OK, we're going to move. We're going to move Kittle out of the way. We can go right here. We're just going to take this and we're going to click and we're going to ungroup everything. I want to move that coffee, move that San Jose. And we're going to take our piggy wiggy and we're going to move 
him right here and we're just going to go in closer and as opposed to Sanborn we're going to click right here and we're going to write Wart Hog okay let's zoom out and we lost our G but when that happens all you have to do is just pull this over all right now that could be a graphic right there but no 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 we're going to have a a little bit more fun we're going to click on that warthog and then we're going to you see this going to pop up 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 here right you get these three dots more options okay and we're going to go to outline text okay so now that's not a text anymore that's a shape that's full of what we're going to double click on it and this right here, we're going to double click on it again. And you see all our anchor points. All right. So let's go in a little bit closer. We're going to go over here. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm just going to go in and I'm going to move him down. We're just going to shape the text. This is the great thing. When you get a font or you get a text, Right. Just I've been we used to do this in Illustrator for years. You can go in and change it to make the font do what you want it to do. So we're going to once again, you want to double click on that. And now I'm just going to highlight that. And you see how that's blue and these are white. That means that these are highlighted. So we're going to take those and pull them down. OK, and we're going to do the same thing right here. We're going to just double click on the W, double click again, and we're going to highlight those and pull them down. Now, I want this to be at an angle, so I'm going to highlight just one of these and I'm going to go like that. I'm going to highlight this one and I'm going to go like that. I'm going to do the same thing right here. Double going to click on it then double click on it and then highlight what we want. And then we're going to pull him down. Then we're going to grab just that and we're going to just pull that up. And then we're going to grab this one too. Highlight that and just pull that down. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing right here. We're just going to, I'm going to pull that up a little bit and pull that down. We're going to do the same thing on this one. Just want to pull that up a little bit. And this one right here, we're just going to pull that down. Now we're going to go back over here. All right, starting to take shape. All right, so now we're going to go right here to this T. We're going to click on that. Actually, we don't even have to do the T, or do we? No, we can do this H. Now for the O, I'm going to grab everything, double click. And now we're just going to hold down our shift key and just bring that down. We don't even want to, we're just going to bring that Oh, down, just like that. Oh, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Now we're going to do our G and we're going to do the same thing. See, we're going to click on it and then we're not going to double click on it again. We're just going to grab this, hold on the shift key and just bring that G down. We're just kind of shaping. I think I want to do a little bit more to this A. We're just kind of shaping the text to our little mascot here, double click on that. And then we can take these two right here and just move that over to get, yes. And now we're gonna do the same thing right here. Down. All right, let's zoom out. The Warthog, all right. So we're gonna change this and instead of San Jose, we're gonna get a little more get a little more down uh down home america with it uh that i'm gonna paste that 
Sheboygan, Wisconsin. All right. And we're not going to have... Um, going to have clothing now i'm sure they have a warthog clothing out already guys i I'm, I'm almost positive of it i'm just having some fun here so if anyone owns that copyright charge it to my head not my heart i know that you're out there all right so look at that what we just did now we'll go right here and we're going to make another box Okay, and we're going to make this box, I'm going to make that red. And we're going to grab this whole thing. You see this right here? This is your shape builder tool. We're going to make this all one shape. See that union? Right, and that's now all one shape. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to right click on that and we're going to go move to back. So now that's in front. We're going to do right here. We're going to copy and we're going to paste, right? That was pasted. We're just, just so we have another version in case we want to do something with it. And now we're going to grab this entire thing both. And you're going to see our shape builder came back up. And we're going to go right here and we're going to click on subtract. And illustrate it, it will be minus front. Boom. Look at that. And you may be like, whatever okay but let me show you something that's not just white right there that is hold on we're going to right click on that and we're going to go to bring to front if you look at that that is now transparent so think about you know the possibilities of what you can do these are things that you used to you couldn't do on a program like this. I mean, this right here is literally what everything that I just did right here was things that, you know, I was doing for years in Illustrator. Right. So to have this right here and to be able to go right over here to you have all of these elements at your disposals. OK, disposal. You have illustrations okay look at everything that's in here you have shapes you have images photos that you can use all right you can go right here to kittle ai and let's just say image generator let's just say an angry wart hog uh, in the woods and we're going to do that as like, I don't know, what are we going to do that as? Show all acrylic, oil painting, photography, uh, digital art. We're just going to do uh, as digital art and we're going to click generate. Look at that. All right. You could do that. I have that down at the bottom of an ad let's let's zoom in i'm just showing you guys this or you can make this white so it'll pop out a little bit more i'm oh my goodness look at that the point that i'm making right is that of course illustrator at this point has a lot more features and it's you know a lot more going on but do you use all that stuff and you certainly can't do what i just did in second so anyway guys kittle strikes again we just made a t-shirt and with the power of ai we can bring it to life want to learn how to do stuff like this then i suggest you check this out my ai t-shirt business super system is almost completed and i'm not just saying that you can sign up for it and be the first to hear about it and take your business to the future Link in description and sign up for the T-shirt help desk newsletter and get the T-shirt business quick start guide. We go over choosing a niche, designing shirts, marketing and promotion, buying blanks, pricing, creating an online store and so much more. And it's free. Link in description. There's going to be a link down in the description box. Make sure you check out Kittle. At this point, what can't it do? All right. So anyway, I fooled around with y'all long enough. I'm gonna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the 
dope. Oh, oh, and there is a Kittle 2.0 tutorial. I go through that. That video is right there. Check it out. Peace. T-shirt help, brusque.